Luck and Sage Cruz continue to make their mark in sports. Sage, a 10-year-old, and younger sibling Luck, who is 8, had already not several jiu-jitsu wins under their belt the last time we talked to them, which shows they've earned their stripes. Uh, I won a MMA tournament, and I got a belt. We also went to Japan, and me and Luck, we both got gold medals. So, he's gray black, and I'm uh, yellow black. KUM Sports caught up with the boys at Atos Gym in Tumon, where they're training for the next big event, the Pan Kids 2023 Championships. Pan's is one of the biggest kid tournaments in the U.S. And we both did it last year. Luck, uh, unfortunately, luck did place, but I got first last year. The first round, uh, I got a um, fast takedown, and then I submitted, but the second round, I uh, almost got on board and I lost. Beaming with pride and gratitude is Jose Cruz, a decorated Guam Guard officer, a committed husband, and a dad devoted to the success of his sons. Yes, martial arts has given them a, a, a lot outside of the gym, off of the mat. They're, they're so respectful, they're so caring, they, they stand up for each other. Uh, they do exceptionally well in school. Uh, that's our priority. Luck and Sage also share words of wisdom for their peers, for young athletes looking to take their games to the next level. To keep training, listen to your coaches, because they've probably been training for like what your age was, and they know what to do. At first, they might be hard, but keep doing it, you'll get better and better at it, and you'll uh, start to like it. Never uh, stop, uh, keep doing it again, do what you want to do. And while they're all each other's biggest cheerleaders in individual events, for the Cruz family, sports is a team activity. They're honored to represent their island home, for the instructors who got them here, and grateful for the local community that stands behind them all the way. To all those people who, who don't want to be named, who just want to re remain anonymous, thank you so much. We, we really are very grateful and we'll never forget. Thank you, Guam. Thank you so much.